it going YouTube? Welcome back to another video on this channel. So in today's video, I decided to share with you guys five weird kitchen gadgets. Now hopefully these kitchen gadgets will help you in your cooking experience because if you're like me, that burns everything, and I mean I burn everything, then you need all the help you can get. Like for crying out loud, I burn water. Why do you think I only stick to eating cereal? Because there is no way that you could burn cereal. If for some reason, your cereal catches on fire, you better run, because your, your cereal's possessed. So, let's get started with the first gadget. Let's go. Another Nick No Banger. Okay, so the very first gadget that we have here is this fruit slicer. Now, these things come in handy when you're throwing a party and you have to cut up a whole bunch of fruits. So what I have in front of me is this little, tiny, look how small this watermelon is. It, it, it's so, I was so close to saying it's so cute, but no, I'm not going, to, I'm not saying that. No, no, it's so awesome. Look how they send me the box. Really? Really? <laughs> like, it literally looks like a giant just like sat on it, or like someone just punched it, because like they didn't like watermelons or something. Like, okay, so let's see what we have inside the box, right? Whoa, <laughs> whoa, whoa, that's it? It's a lot bigger than I thought because I didn't open the box. I just got it and uh, I was thinking that this was gonna fit But I as you can see you could probably put a, a full-size watermelon and this thing would be good All right, so let's see if it will actually work and slice up this watermelon So all you have to do is cut off the top part of the watermelon All right, so once you got your fruit cut off Then you get this and you place it right on the center and you press down now hopefully it works. Let's see. Press down. You might have to shake it. Oh, 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 oh! What? No! Oh my God! This is so sick. What? <laughs> it just—it cuts right open. Like, what is this centerpiece? Look at this. You get a perfectly sliced centerpiece of watermelon. Come on. It doesn't get any better than that. Okay. So, re-looking at the box, I realized that you have to cut off the top and the bottom, so that's why my watermelon is stuck. But you know what, it, it makes a cool hat. <laughs> okay, so the next gadget that I have for you guys are these snap-on bottle tops. Now what these things do is that they turn your ordinary soda can into a bottle. Now what they claim is that they keep your soda fresh a bit longer and they also help you avoid spilt. Now these things might come in handy because sometimes you don't finish your soda, sometimes you might not finish your beer, so this will help you keep it a little bit longer. So let's give it a try and let's see if it actually works. Okay, so I got my soda and now I have this bottle top. So all you have to do is before you place it on top, make sure your can is open, right? Open it up, then you place it right on top and then you press it down. Uh, damn! Oh, look at that, look at this. Now let's first test to see if it spills, because if it does, then that was the point, right? That's impressive, oh my, what? No, 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 I was gonna say that's impressive, but <laughs> it completely did the opposite of what the thing said. Come on. Well, maybe, maybe I have to open it and close it properly. All right, let's try it again. I don't know, I don't know, it's spilling, it's, it's spilling it. <laughs> it's doing the opposite of what the box is saying. Avoid spills. I mean, if you hold it like this, like how the box is telling you to hold it, it doesn't spill. But if you hold it directly upside down, it's gonna build up and it's gonna spill all over the place. Now, I made sure it's it's closed on, right? But let me, let me try uh, to see how it would be on a different bottle. Make sure it's closed. It doesn't spill! Oh my god! Are you serious? Are you serious? Come on! But you know what? It might, it might, it might not have a good seal. I don't know. But uh, I was kind of rooting for this to work. But you know what? Maybe it keeps your soda fresh, and maybe it is, it is something different, right? You might just pull this out. But if you're gonna put it in your backpack, it's gonna spill all over your homework, all over your stuff. Oh my god, it's not gonna be a pretty sight. So just be warned with this one. But let's move on to the next 
gadget. All right, so the next gadget helps you take off the corn off of the cob. Now, you guys could use different types of methods. You guys could just use the traditional way and use a knife. You guys might use the new trendy way and use a drill, but I wouldn't recommend it. <laughs> Or you guys could use this gadget to help you out. So let's see how it works. So I got this thing shipped to me in a bag with just my name on it. So I don't, I don't know the name of it. So you guys, give it a, give it a cool name in the comment section down below. Uh, <laughs> just don't give it. I don't know. Just give it a, give it a good name, okay? So all you want to do is just place it right on top. And all you're gonna do, just like the one I showed you guys, is you press down. All right. Okay. Not bad. Oh. Okay. Oh. What? 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 So once you got it all out, right? You give it a grip, good push. That looks so wrong. <laughs> it just looked like poo. It literally looked like poo. But anyways, once you got it, look at this. You got all of them inside of here. You can just pour them out onto a plate, and now you can make some. I don't know, you can I, I don't know, you guys can make something out of corn, which is gonna be good, and it's gonna be a lot easier to use it this way. Okay, so the next gadget that I'm gonna test out for you guys is this spaghetti fork. Now, it's not your ordinary, you know, fork. What it does is that it's run by batteries. So it's gonna do the twirling for you. It's gonna make your life a lot more easier. So let's give it a test. Okay, so I got my fork and I got my spaghetti right in front of me. So I'm gonna put the batteries in and see how this thing works. Place them in. All right, let's see how this thing turns on. All right, it's, it's pretty fast, I'm not gonna lie. It's, it might do the trick. All right, so I'm gonna place it inside of my spaghetti. Hopefully it works. All right, so I'm gonna turn it off and then place it. All right, All right okay. It's kind of getting stuck. <laughs> like what? What the hell? How do you turn this off? All right, so it kind of did the trick. Look, it picked up a good handful of spaghetti. Uh, nothing that the other fork couldn't do. But let, let me tell you, if you took this to school, you're you'll be the coolest kid ever because you just pull it out, you pull out your spaghetti, and you just be like. And it's gonna be picking up your spaghetti. No wonder Benjamin over here is, is smiling. Like, look at him, he just looks so happy. <laughs> this thing is pretty cool, I'm not gonna lie. I kinda like it. <laughs> you notice how there's no sauce on my spaghetti? I don't know how to cook. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> okay, so the last gadget that I have for you guys is this egg opener. Now, it's not your ordinary egg cracker. This one is mostly for you artists out there because this would help you open up an egg nice and clean. Nice and clean. So let's give it a try. Okay, so straight out of the box, this is what it looks like. All you have to do is place an egg right underneath it and drop this ball on top of it. Now the shock is gonna crack the egg nice and clean. So let's hope that it works. So let's give it a try. So I got my egg right here, and I'm gonna place it, right? Take the ball up, and you might have to drop it a couple of times, and then you just give it a drop. That's one, give it a second one for good luck. Two, all right. It definitely cracked. Look at this, look at this. Let me show you guys. Okay, so check this out, guys. This is kinda of cool, look at this. It's perfectly sliced right on top, allowing you to just pop it open. Look at this, that is crazy. Look at how it cuts it. Once you clean it out, right? Look at this, it just cuts it right, right on the spot, basically. So this allows you to do a couple of things, right? To obviously still keep the eggshell intact. Okay, so what makes this gadget so interesting is the fact that it's so simple. If you really look at the mechanics, there's nothing inside of here. All it is is a ball on a rod that when it drops, it cracks the egg. Now this makes it pretty cool and it makes it a lot more easier to crack the egg in half. Now cracking the egg in half will allow you to do some crazy stuff with just egg. You could make this, you could make that, I don't know. If this does not impress your lady friends, then I, I don't know what will. I honestly don't know what will. But this is a cool gadget to have. Well guys, that is it for this video. If you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. I'll be sure to leave these gadgets in the description 
down below and also leave in the comment section what was your favorite gadget. I'm Lord Align, keep the blood pumping and take care. Peace! <laughs> Ow, my foot!